Let's talk about Hillary Clinton. She seems to be back in one sense. She has nearly 500,000 followers to her Twitter feed. She put out one Twitter feed, got 500,000. How does her profile fuel speculation that she's in the game again? You know, I think it was one thing that she put in her bio. It said TBD. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that, right. <laughs> that went wild. I, yeah. I wonder what that means, <laughs> yeah. possibly a 2016 run. Right. Uh, we're certainly, you know, after she left the Secretary of State office, she was, you know, took some downtime. We didn't see her for a while. She's starting to reemerge, like with this Twitter account uh, and also become more involved with the Clinton Initiative. The and, speech in Chicago yesterday. That's right, uh, where she discussed. Uh, focusing on issues involving children. I think you'll see uh, a lot of uh, focus on sort of this, uh, the Clinton Foundation uh, efforts, uh, nonprofit work, potentially traveling the globe, uh, and doing some domestic work on women's issues uh, in the run-up to a possible run. And yesterday it was her first, I think it was explained, her first public speech since she left the Secretary of State's office that she was not paid for. So it was a big thing. She was introduced by her husband, former President Bill Clinton, um, talked mostly women's issues. I think one of the things we thought was interesting in my shop was that things like Syria, which had started to bubble up that day, uh, bubble up yesterday, were not really mentioned in this speech. She did not talk about She did not talk about those kind of things. She is trying to make a portfolio for herself, at least publicly right now, that involves women's issues, that involves children's issues. And doesn't involve foreign policy. Well, she's got those credentials already yeah, in her pocket. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, there are an awful lot of people who continue to question in her travels, what did she actually accomplish? How do you respond Well, she, one of the things by making her Secretary of State, someone who had run for president and come so close, former First Lady, that whole thing was, it gave sort of a certain cachet that if the President of the United States can't come to your country, Secretary Clinton can, and everybody knows her. And at the very least, it helped repair some of our relationships around the world, having her be that face of the United States and traveling so much. I mean, one of her things yesterday was that she still jet lagged because she visited 112 countries. Um, and, and that was one really big, important part of who she was as Secretary of State. And now this new initiative on children, Mono. That's right. I mean, I think you'll see a softer focus for Hillary Clinton heading into uh, 2016, trying to, you know, uh, you know, point to some of these issues involving children, women's issues that people that, uh, you know, are going to support and be, you know, see, find generally favorable. At the same time, you're going to see folks continue to attack her record uh, at the State Department, including over Benghazi, as House Republicans push forward on that issue. Jean? Absolutely. It's, uh, uh, we have a reporter who spends a lot of time in Iowa, and um, he did a story for us recently where he noted she may not know if she's running for president, but they're already running against her. That's all they talk about. Uh, 